After we've confirmed the diagnosis of HCM, how frequently should we repeat the echocardiogram? If there's no change in clinical status, then serial transthoracic echocardiograms should be performed every one or two years. The purpose of this is to evaluate changes in ventricular function, wall thickness, chamber size, severity of obstruction, severity of valve lesions, and to evaluate for the development of apical aneurysms. But if there is a change in clinical status with new signs or symptoms, then a repeat transthoracic echocardiogram should be performed as soon as possible. These changes in symptoms are often the result of worsening hemodynamics in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Finally, if your patient has undergone septal reduction therapy, a repeat transthoracic echocardiogram should be performed within three to six months. You'll want to make sure the treatment was effective and to look for any complications. Because HCM is the most common inheritable disease of the heart muscle and it's treatable, it's vitally important that family members of people with HCM also be screened for the disease. As HCM can express itself at different times in life, screening does need to be repeated. These screening echoes should typically begin as soon as the diagnosis has been made in another family member. The only exception is if the family member with HCM has a genetic mutation that's causing the disease, and the family member in question has tested negative for that gene mutation. In this case, no further screening for that person or their children is necessary. Frequency of screenings depends on the age of the family member. HCM tends to express itself more rapidly in younger individuals, especially during the teenage years. We recommend more frequent screening at that time of life. If the relative is a child or an adolescent from a genotype positive family or a family with early onset disease, they should be screened every one or two years. All other children or adolescents should be screened every two to three years. If the relative is an adult, they should be screened every three to five years. But if there's no evidence of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, screening usually is not continued after midlife. This was just a quick overview. To learn more, visit ASECHO.org slash HCM.